Hey everybody, welcome back. This is HD and this is going to be another HD broadcast. Uh, today we're going to be actually looking at a series of pro games. It is currently Monday and I was going to do my daily ladders, but I wanted to go ahead and get one more series of pro games out of the way. Now I know uh, it says that this player right here is Liquid Jinro. That's actually not the case. The, web the website where I downloaded this set of replays from, it's actually uh, OGS Hero playing as the Protoss, and I guess he decided to play on Liquid Genera's account, and obviously, we all know Liquid Genera plays Terran, not Protoss, so I'm gonna go with the, the names that the website stated, and I'm gonna try to remember that this Protoss player is actually OGS Hero, and his opponent isn't Fuan Wing, but rather it is Fnatic Sen. So it is Sen versus OGS Hero, and obviously Sen, one of the best Taiwanese Zerg players out there. And Hero, I'm not exactly sure if this is the same Hero that played for, I believe, MBC game back in uh, pro the pro days of uh, StarCraft II, uh, StarCraft Brood War. But regardless, I think this is going to be a very good game. Uh, Sen versus Hero, and it is, of course, a Zerg versus Protoss. This is going to be a best of three. And I believe it is an exhibition series of matches on uh, Battle.net 2.0. Now, um, I guess the players are playing on, uh, on, on opposite accounts. They're not playing on their main accounts because uh, they wanted to play on the American servers. And these are um, Liquid General and Fuan Wang are American accounts, uh, North American accounts. So maybe, there, maybe this is some kind of a tournament game or something like that. And all, obviously all these players reside in South Korea and they just, you know, borrowed their friends' accounts to play on. And so, yeah, once again, OGS Hero versus Fnatic Sen. Can't wait to see what's going to happen here. Uh, it looks like Hero is going to be opening up standard here. Gateway into Gas. And Metalopolis, a very nice map for Zerg players. I think this is um, one of the best maps, actually, for Zerg. And what is this? We actually have a probe doing a little bit of work here on the drones. Nice little micro. And firing its little probe particle beam at these drones. And, of course, if you're ever a Zerg player and you uh, <laughs> you see a probe doing that kind of shenanigans inside your mineral line, all you got to do is just uh, scare that probe away, get a couple drones on it, and it's all good. Um, it looks like Sen here is opening rather standard. He's opened up with an early hatchery. Uh, and he's also gotten his spawning pool down. I believe the spawning pool coming after the hatchery. So it is 14 hatch, 16 pool supposedly into gas. is a very nice opening against Protoss nowadays. Especially since you can no longer block off this ramp with two pylons. You actually require three pylons now to block that off. And because of that change in the new patch, a lot of Zergs now are getting much more bolder, much more... I should say adventurous with their early hatchery and a lot of times now Protoss players uh, they really don't have a way to deal with that anymore and so yeah Zerg players nowadays are going for that early hatchery much much more often than usual. Now look at this it, it looks like uh, OGS Hero is going to be bringing a probe around the backside here uh, which signals to me that he he is going to try to get some kind of a proximity pylon going up here, but oh, nice Overlord coming out from Sen. I think the Overlord is going to see that uh, pylon when it decides to go up. The probe also gets picked off inside the Zerg main, and yeah, it looks like um, OGS Hero isn't going to be able to really get anything up whatsoever there. He's not going to be able to go with his cheese strategy, which it looks like it is going to be a 4-gate for... <laughs> it's a straight-up uh, cool 4-gate from OGS uh, Hero, and Sen here already sees the pylon going up. Yes, he does. So Sen automatically knows when a pylon goes up at the five minute mark, if you're a Zerg player, you know 100% for certain it is going to be uh, a four gate attack. And all you have to do now is focus on getting spine crawlers, getting speedlings, getting roaches, whatever units you can to defend against this. This is a Somewhat difficult map to defend against the 4-gate, but as long as you get a nice placement of spine crawlers, I'd like to see maybe one more, then I think Sen should be just fine in handling this. Do note, uh, right now Sen is getting speed. He's just focusing purely on speedlings. I think he's just going to go for pure uh, Zergling plus spine crawler to defend against this, but he's only got one spine crawler, and the, all the, way, the warp gates are now morphing into uh, the warp gate technology, and they're starting to warp in those units, and it looks like... Ooh, it looks like OGS Hero is going to actually go for Mass Stalker here, which I'm not exactly sure this is the best idea, considering there's a lot of speedlings on the map. I think Sen here is going to be rather happy to find that that first cycle of production was purely Stalker heavy, and uh, Sen should be just fine and dandy at defending against this. 
I'd like to see, like I said before, maybe one more spine crawler would be really nice. He is going to be able to intercept this zealot here that was going to join his stalker brethren, and that zealot is going to get taken out. Now, it looks like OGS Hero going to warp in four more zealots, no, noticing that he needs more zealots to deal with this heavy zergling composition. And the, now this is when the Protoss army actually becomes really, really difficult to deal with. Uh, in this kind of situation because uh, that second cycle of production is going to bring in double the number of zealots and now Sen needs more rather than just speedlings he needs roaches as well I don't think this is a good position to engage whatsoever there's too many zealots in this army mixture and notice that Sen now has to pull his drones off the line four more zealots coming in some zerglings joining the party it's gonna be a very close battle but I think that uh, OGS hero, oh, he's actually going to lose his entire army. Very nice hold from Sen. I did not expect that at all. And I guess, hey, when you're in that situation, you gotta pull drones off the line. Pull those drones off the line. It worked out very, very well for Sen. And he was actually able to hold off that four gate. Well played, well, uh, nicely played, and well done by the Zerg player. And uh, now Sen definitely in a very good position. He's got a much, much larger army. 52 supply over 31. Uh, I was going to say Jinro. OGS Hero here is going to have to figure something out. Um, notice he's got sentries and zealots, so he is going to be able to prevent any zerglings from running in. And so, as it stands right now, it looks like OGS Hero is the one who's pretty much stuck inside the base. He's on one base. The Zerg player is going to be able to happily mine off of two expansion or two bases. And he, of course, right now you guys can see that Sen is just purely pumping drones, knowing that he is way, way ahead. He might even get a good surround here with the Zerglings, but nice force field from uh, OGS Hero there, preventing the Speedlings from running in. And wow, OGS Hero is getting a little ballsy here, pushing out. I think, you know, whenever you're a Protoss player and you've got this many sentries, um, if you're a really, really good Protoss, you could actually be bold and push out as long as you have faith in your sentry micro, as long as you have faith in being able to plant that force field down at the perfect time and at the perfect spot to prevent speedlings from running in, then yeah, you can be kind of bold and aggressive with your army, but you have to be super careful because one small mismanagement of your units can cost you very, very dearly in allowing those, allowing those Zerglings to run in. Uh, it also looks like Sen here getting a Beanlings Nest. So I suppose that Sen is actually going to... He may actually try some kind of a Banelings bus here, noticing that there is an early Nexus coming up. Um, he is just going to test his front door, though, and then fall back. Now morphing in 10 Banelings. Also note that Hallucination is now coming on the production tab for, for uh, OGS Hero. So um, a lot of strange abilities coming off of these two players right now. And notice that's a lot of Zerglings flooding across the map. I really think that Sen here is going to try to end this game right here, right now. He's not really macroing up too many drones. Um, he does have a third expansion coming up, which is kind of surprising, but wow, he's pumped up so many Zerglings. I think he is going to try to punish the Protoss player for going for this bold, bold Nexus. And here we go. Here comes Sen. He's coming in with all of his Banelings. Going to try to find a weak spot. Is the force field going to get planted? Nice force field. And those Banelings have a much more difficult time getting in, but another force field getting landed down after the pylon gets taken out. And and uh, OGS Hero here holding off the Zergling Baneling advance, but Sen, ever relentless, still has more Banelings on the way. This is getting super intense, and now that the hallucination is done, OGS Hero can finally move out and see exactly what the heck is going on. We're going to go ahead and switch over to Chinra's point of view, player cam view, and you guys can see he is getting ready to prevent those Banelings from running in. Oh my goodness, brought the force field down and the force field gets dropped down, just barely preventing those Banelings from running in and hitting the mineral line. Notice the probes also all getting out of the way. I don't think any probes suffered any casualties because only one Baneling exploded. The rest of them were blocked off. So very nice force field once again by OGS Hero. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to Sen's point of view. He's once again gonna go in for another attack. Um, and it looks like, ah, oh, boom, you shall not pass. Down goes force fields on every possible location. Very well played by OGS Hero. Now the Speedling's trying to take advantage of that slight opening in the gap. Notice that this is pretty much a SimCity battle. The Protoss player is just barely clinging on to hold on for dear life. 
Um, he needs to make sure that every single gap is closed, and he's struggling to make sure that uh, it stays that way, but his force fields need to be on point. One more Beanling run in, a couple of uh, probes getting taken out once again, but the force fields once again saving the day for, uh, like, uh, for, <laughs> for OG as Hero, and notice that Hero now warping in four more sentries as he continues this mass force field uh, defense. And it's pretty much just a mini game now for for OGS Hero. He, once again, Bailey's coming in from every which way. Another double force field getting planted down. Zealots and a forge here to to protect the frontal wall. But it looks like the Bailey's gonna finally bust their way in. But more force fields holding off those Bailey's. Very nice play. Once again from OGS Hero and very nice play from Sen as he relentlessly tries to burst his way through but notice the entire time Sen has been droning up he's got a ton of economy right now once again more Banelings making their way through ouch that Baneling did a lot of damage and a ton of probes went down <coughs> excuse me uh, it looks like a lot of probes here are in the red um, and it looks like wow Jinro um, it, OGS Hero is just barely holding on after relentless Baneling attack after relentless Baneling attack. Um, right now, Sen is in a very firm position. He's actually finally deciding to tech up to Lair. I was wondering when he was going to get that Lair tech going. Um, but now he has to hold off this final Protoss counterattack. Uh, it looks like OGS Hero really does have a pretty large army here. And it is finally pushing out. That's a lot of Stalkers, a lot of Sentries, a lot of Zealots. It's going to come down to the Force Field Micro and the placement. And for the Sen, it's going to come down to his um, his flanks and his surrounds. And how quickly he can get that army uh, taken uh, dispatched of. So we'll see how this works out. It looks like Sen here positioning his units. And here we go. Sen going to come down the ramp. Bailey's doing a ton of damage. Taking out all the sentries. None of the sentries got their force fields out. And I think that could very well be GG for uh, OGS Hero. That's a lot of Zerglings streaming down the ramp now. And all of these stalkers are going to get taken out. Very well played by Sen. And OGS Hero here. They're going to move on to a game number two. And yeah, there comes the WW which I guess means a GG. So I hope you guys enjoyed this broadcast. We're going to go ahead and move on to game number two. I am still sick, guys. So if you guys were wondering, all that coughing, hacking, and sneezing, it is me. I'm still sick. But I'm still going to be casting these games for you guys. One more game to go, um, or two more games to go, excuse me, in this best of three series. And I hope you guys enjoyed that broadcast. HD, signing out.